In this course, we'll be creating a model of a vintage arcade game cabinet based on this concept drawing. In order for a video game to play smoothly and display images at a high and steady frame rate, artists and engineers need to make sure that geometry is created with as few polygons as possible. This is an issue for all platforms, including next generation consoles. But memory resources for mobile games are especially limited, so every poly counts. A range of factors will influence the maximum number of polys for any given game project, but artists should always strive to keep game assets light and reserve as much of the polygon budget as possible for principal characters and key props. As a general rule, we should avoid creating any polygons that won't substantially affect the silhouette of a model. If we were creating this arcade model to be used as a background element in a game environment, it would be reasonable to conserve polys and only model larger shapes, indicating smaller surface details such as screws, coin return panels, and even gameplay buttons by applying texture maps, which we'll discuss later in this course. On the other hand, if we were creating a game where the player interacted closely with this prop and viewed it from multiple angles, we would want to model in these additional details to create a more authentic experience. The additional geometry would make for a more realistic silhouette and result in more accurate lighting and shadows. In this course, we'll aim for a medium resolution model, creating actual geometry for most of the game console components while still keeping the overall poly count below 3,000 polys. You can keep track of the number of polygons in your scene by looking at the heads-up display, or HUD, in your camera view. This information can be hidden and shown by going to the display menu, clicking on the heads-up display section, and checking or unchecking the poly count checkbox. You'll notice that the HUD indicates the total number of polygons and triangles within the scene, as well as the number of polygons and triangles of the selected objects. Selected object poly counts appear on the right. Poly counts for the entire scene are listed on the left. As mentioned earlier, a polygon is a face with three or more sides, but when geometry is displayed in a game engine, all polygons are automatically split into triangles. So even if your model includes quads or faces with more than four sides, the number of triangles, rather than polygons, should be your standard measure as you keep track of asset poly count.